Ms. Dolores Sherman, please. Your profile of me in 05 was that I was a crazy old lady. <laughs> After my 05 sham trial, I surrounded myself and my home with security cameras. In 05, I was prosecuted by a bogus peace disturbance. Some called it railroaded, some classified it as set up, orchestrated by Arthur. Ronald Bachmeyer was a sitting judge, not Cole. I was found guilty. For the guilty plea, it is signed by Judge Cole. The dates are missing, as you can see. When was I found guilty? Can you tell me? Wasn't signed by Judge Bachmeyer. How anybody. does a non-sitting judge not hearing the case and the evidence call for probation and recommends anger management, not according to the Constitution and statutes? This raises some serious questions, legally and otherwise. What questionable behaviors exist in your inner sanctum, your network? Our justice system is a hostage. Our constitution is a mirage. Right? It seems so. An outside investigation on this matter and these, and these events is a must. I repeat, it is a must. February the 1506 tops all and is beyond belief. I repeat, February the 1506 is beyond belief. Right after my massive surgery, my driving record has no violations. My driving record is clean. But a Missouri gaming commission trooper who works at Harris came to my home on February the 1506 at 8.15 p.m. on a hoax of my hazardous driving, invading the privacy and the sanctity of my home, violating all my rights and the HIPAA laws. A Missouri Gaming Commission trooper came to my home at 8.15 p.m. on a hoax of my hazardous driving. Dolores. The DOR has to... Dolores. Dolores, it's me. Right the here. DOR has Dolores. to send, send you a certified 10-day notice Dolores. per statute at uh, such events. I received none. Seeking him up to come up my driveway, my heart pounding, my hand shaking, I assumed one of my sons had a fatal. No, he was doing an investigation for the DOR. This trooper then proceeds with a guest stop of tactics, gives me the third, seeking and probing for the name of my primary physician in the name of my physical doctor. This is a breach, abuse of public trust and confidence. I was recuperating from surgery. Unimaginable, unbelievable, beyond comprehension, this troop left my home and went over to my neighbor on my immediate left to a group of bunco car playing ladies. I repeat, this trooper went over to my neighbor on my left to a group of bunco car playing ladies. Out of this group of bunco car playing ladies, one is the wife of a St. Pete of a St. Peter's employee, is a St. Peter's employee, Mr. Darling's employee. And one is the wife of an alderman. Sir, your wife, Mr. Mr. Reitmeyer. I repeat, one is the wife of a St. Peter's employee, and the one is the wife of a Ward 1 alderman, Reitmeyer. Using a law for a personal vendetta is considered criminal in some areas and states. Discrimination as well. The, the big question remains, had I given him my doctor's names, what hellhole would I have had to face? I refused giving names to the trooper and not getting the names, the trooper called me twice. Once at approximate 7.30 on a hoax of not getting my drivers, of getting the mileage on my car, seeking my doctor's names. On his second call at 9 p.m., I informed him to get a warrant. Harassment, harassment, astounding, unbelievable, discrimination, abuses, rights, violations, and outside investigation is desperately, desperately and definitely needed here. Right, Meyer. I now... Using a law for a personal vendetta is considered criminal in some areas and states. Is considered criminal 
is considered criminal, is considered criminal in some areas and states.